Excuse me, guys. Can I ask you a real quick question? Which one's bigger, red or blue? This red, red, red. How about, how about now? Oh, hell no. <laughs> blue looks bigger now, right? How about now? Red's bigger now, right? Man, make up your mind. <laughs> That's for you. How'd you do that? Huh? It's, a, it's an optical illusion. Can, can, can I show you a, a different kind of optical illusion? Is that okay? Is that trippy? That's really crazy. You know what an optical illusion is? Let me show you a different one, okay? It, it this, you keep that. There's a message on the back you read later, okay? This involves a few questions. Is that, is that all right? Yeah, go ahead. Are you a good person? Uh, mm. I try to be. You try to be? How about you? Are you a good person? <laughs> okay. Let's take a real quick yeah. test. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. Or, have you ever told a lie? I told you that. What do you call people who tell lies? Liars. So what are you? A liar. Have you ever taken something that didn't belong to you, ever? Candy? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Okay, what do you call people who steal? Thief. So what are you? I'm a lion thief. You're a lion thief. You jump right to it. <laughs> Check this out. Have your parents ever punished you ever in your whole life? Oh, yeah. That means you didn't always honor your father and your mother. So based on those three, three questions, you're just like me. I, too, am a liar, a thief, disobedient, rebellious. Is that a good person? It could be. Uh, it's not, right? Yeah. You know it's not, if, right? If you say all that, but it's hard. you got to meet the person first. I'm just based on that, for instance, if I told you I murder and rape, do you need to know me to know that I'm not, not a good person? Well, that's not a good person. Murder, no, that's right. Not a good person. Neither is stealing and lying. And, and that's, a, that's, a, that's a different level, though. Uh, granted, I agree. agree. Check this out. God says all liars will have their place in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. So we might think lying's no big deal, but God thinks it's a huge deal to the point that he, he sends people to hell for lying. And I'm guilty like you. I'm no better than you, right. right? So if you died today and God judged you, you'd be guilty, right? Should God let guilty people into heaven? No. no. He even says all liars would go to hell, right? But do you know what God did for you so you can still go to heaven? You ever heard of Jesus Christ? Yeah. Do you know how he died and why he died? Uh, no, not really. Jesus is God who came into the world. He put on humanity. He never stopped being God, so he's fully God and fully human. He allowed himself to be punished on the cross. Do you know why? Because God is a God of justice. He will punish every sin. If he punished you and me for our sins, we would end up in hell. But God loved you so much, he decided he wants to be punished in your place so that God can have justice and give you mercy. Well, that's deep. <laughs> See? I, that's I that's why it. they call it the gospel, the good news. Yeah. The good news is we deserve hell. But God loved you so much, he doesn't want you to go to hell. So in order for him to maintain justice, he came and paid the bill we could never pay. Okay? But he, he needs us to respond in a certain way for us to still be saved because Jesus dying on the cross does not mean everyone on earth automatically goes to heaven. Here's what Jesus said about who goes to heaven. He who believes in me has everlasting life. What do you have to do? He who believes in me has everlasting life, Jesus said. What do you have to do? What's the action you have to take? I don't know. Yeah, who's the him? God. Jesus. Specifically Jesus, because God is a trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But only the Son, Jesus, died for you on the cross, right? So Acts 16.31 is more direct. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. How do you go to heaven? Being a good person. No, you're, you're, you're letting your old thoughts cloud you from hearing the, the Word of God. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. What's the action word? Believe. believe. In who? In who? Jesus. That's right. And what would happen when you believe in Jesus? He will save you. Exactly. You, see, you, you normally default to thinking, because I did something bad, in order to undo that, I have to do something good. But that's not how it works, okay? Faith in Jesus is how it works. Let me explain to you why. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, go, go. Please. Here, this is for you. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Okay, read that. Thank you, buddy. So, so you understood that message, right? So, the message I just shared with you is called the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, what he did for us. 
And here's more good news. God says in Romans 1.16 that this gospel, this good news, is the power of salvation to anyone who believes. Do you believe this gospel message I just shared with you? Now, if you truly believe it, are you ready to lay down your old life? For instance, lay down your sins, lay down your personal goals and follow Jesus. Pick up the cross, follow Jesus. Even if Jesus takes you to suffering and death, are you willing to follow Jesus? What's your first name? Jonathan. Jonathan. Can I ask you four simple questions, real simple, and then pray for you to receive Jesus? One, do you agree that you're a sinner? You've sinned against God like everybody else. Do you believe Jesus Christ is God who died for you on the cross, paid the penalty for your sins? Do you believe he then rose again on the third day? Jo Jonathan, do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever, no matter what it costs? Let me pray for you. Put a hands on your shoulder. Heavenly Father, Lord, would you please receive Jonathan into your family as a child of God, as a friend, as a son, as a bride. Would you please save him by the power of the gospel, which he just heard for the first time, understood and believed. Wash away his sin by Jesus' blood. Turn him into a new creation and send him out into the world as a missionary of the gospel. In Jesus' name, amen. Jonathan, it's really that simple. You're saved by simple faith in Jesus as you repent of your sins. I would encourage you that as soon as possible, get baptized. Baptism does not save you. Baptism is an obedience to God, Jesus' commands, okay? Would you like to get baptized today? Not today, afterwards. <laughs> no worries. I'm going to give you my information. I can baptize you anytime, okay? Uh, just a few more words before I head out. Here's how you can be, live as a Christian for the rest of eternity. Read, pray, and obey every day. Read your Bible every day, pray to God every day, obey God every day, every day, okay? Do you live around here? What city do you live in? I live in Lawndale. Lawndale, that's not too far from no. here. So do you already go to a church somewhere? No. Uh, let me recommend a church for you. Um, we go to Calvary Chapel LAX. I believe the website's on here. It's but, by the airport at, okay. above yeah, my house. My mom, yeah, that's where my mom lives over there. She so, does, yeah. okay. Let's see. Um, uh, Westmont? Westmont? Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of on the edge of England. Okay. 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 So calvarychapellax.com is the website. But there are other churches around here that you, you can check out, but we'd welcome you in our church, okay? So start your obedience by getting baptized and going to church at least once a week, maybe more. Read your Bible every day. Do you have a Bible? I have, I have the one on my phone, actually. Yeah. Okay. Right, that'll work. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. My phone's in my car. I have, no worries. I, I have, yeah. I have a, it's, it's a Bible app, and it tells you. Yeah. I've been reading every day for like 47 days already. You have? Oh, wow. Look That's at that. Awesome. Yeah. You see that? Is that a coincidence? Yeah. No, it's That's not. Awesome. God arranged it. Maybe, he, maybe God saw your heart, saw that you wanted to know more about him. Then he sent us yeah. to talk to you. Isn't that crazy? That's what I was thinking when you yeah, had to talk. I was like, hmm. So nice to meet you. <laughs> my name is Tony, okay. and there's my email address right there, okay? And then 